I think that everybody has something that isn't perfect about them, but alopecia you can see. My name is Thomas Manuel and I'm 11 years old. I was diagnosed with alopecia areata when I was eight years old. I was really sad. I felt that if you don't have hair, it would make you different. Every day he had clumps of hair on his pillow. We'd go racing in in the morning. Within four weeks, he lost all his hair. In the following months, he lost eyebrows and eyelashes. He didn't feel comfortable. This one was probably my favorite that she did. I wear the hat for comfort reasons. Every once in a while, depending on who's sitting behind me in class, I get worried that they might take my hat off. Comments that we heard from people was that it's just hair, but it affected him way beyond that. We went through a period where he didn't want to do anything. He didn't want to go to soccer, he didn't want to go to basketball, and he didn't want to go to school. All of a sudden, the environment of fear was around him. It's been three years now and he still wears a hat. It's a real loss. There is no FDA approved drug right now, systemic drug or topical drug for alopecia. There is nothing. Clinical trials are extremely important. So to meet this need, we are forming a large center at Mount Sinai, the Alopecia Areata Center of Excellence. But I don't think there is any center in the United States that has it all in one place. The clinic, the labs, the artificial intelligence, but most importantly, we'll have research dedicated to this disease that is aimed to find new drugs and new treatments for both adults and children with alopecia. So what we did with Thomas, we started him on Lupixent and that made a difference. He only started about four months ago. And this is incredible because for some patients it took in our adult study between six to 12 months to grow hair. So this I view as excellent response in the time frame that he's treated on. The Pixent is safe. She doesn't have any side effects. The first few months were incredible. His hair was growing and we could see a difference every week. We were really happy when there wasn't even like a centimeter of fuzz. Now we're used to every month that I just see more of those. I think he met Dr. Gutman and he believes in her and it lit a spark of hope that he was very cautious about having. We just went to Argentina. Thomas didn't have a hat on for a week, and it was so liberating for him. It's really changing his life and his self-confidence. There is nothing more gratifying when you see a patient with no hair all over the body, and through your studies and your clinical work, suddenly the patient has hair. I just love what I do, and I love to make a difference in the lives of my patients.